Hi everybody, hope you're well. Um, today I'm going to be talking about a term called multi-accountants. So if you have heard, maybe you've heard the term, maybe you're very well aware of the term, and um, maybe you don't. Right, so basically when you join the game, you're only allowed one account now per server. So I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Right, so if I scroll down here just to the bottom, it says general user conditions. And if I open that in a new tab, you get all these terms of use of violet services. So if you want a really in-depth um, understanding of how to use the game and what you know what the rules are, they're there. But I'm just going to go down to this area, which is the account bit. And I'm going to point out this point three, which is, um, <coughs> sorry, you may not create multiple accounts except if this is specifically allowed with the service by outlet. And in such a case, you acknowledge that you will close your additional accounts upon outlet's request. Now, what usually happens is outlet will remove the account, it's your multiple account themselves. A lot of people ask whether they should report it to moderators. Um, we see the way you could report it, right? Now, the I suppose in a, in a certain sense that a situation where it would be really good to report a multiple account is if somebody, you know somebody sending you abusive mail and they've created a second or maybe a third account to do that, to send you it. Um, that would be a good a good idea to report that as a multiple account. But if you just come across somebody's page and they have two names that are maybe very similar, maybe for example, I don't know, Horse One um, is their name and they've got their friends, the top three people are for example Horse Two, Horse Three, Horse Thirty Four. That maybe raises your, you know, concern. You maybe think those are multiple accounts or if there's something more elaborate going on. Um Admin will eventually remove those themselves, so there's no real point in going and reporting them. Like, if you really wanted to, you could. There's nothing really stopping you. But um, they have automatic ways of detecting multiple accounts. Uh, so in situations where you're getting maybe abuse or somebody's using accounts um, in such a way to abuse and be bully people and harass people, then yes, I would definitely report them. Um, and I would report them to a moderator of your choice. Or if you don't want to report it to a moderator, you can go straight to administration to contact us. So I'm going to close those. Okay, so what doesn't count as um, multi-account? Right, well, I'll just explain this. This is my UK account, right? Okay, so I have one UK account, right? on this server. The UK is a server, okay? And there's all these different servers down here. As you can see, this is the international server. We've got US, UK, Australia, Canada, German, France, and it goes on, and there's, there's a massive amount of servers, okay? So you're allowed to have one account. You could have one account on each of those servers. There wouldn't be a problem with that. But if you had, say, for example, three on international, right? That is multi-accounting. If you had two on Australian server, that's multi-accounting. So any more than one account on one of those servers is a multi-account, okay? So I have my UK account and then I have my international account. So it is completely fine, right? It is totally okay to have an account on an international and have an account on UK and to have an account on the US, maybe one on Australian, maybe one on the French, but you couldn't have two on any of those. So that's what I want to basically explain. Now the other thing that is classed as multi-accounting, okay, if you ever take somebody else's password, right, and this doesn't matter where it is, okay, say for example you went in the forums one day and somebody in the gameplay forum thought it was a great idea to post their username and their password in the forums, okay, or if it was maybe on another website, somebody says, here's my um, password to my account on the French server. And you take those details and you go onto the French server, right? I'm just going to click this for the sake of showing you what I mean. So I go down to the French server, okay? And I was to put in, well, say for instance, you were to put in the name of the player and their password, okay? And you logged in. That counts as multi-account because it's not your account and you've used their password. It's completely different if you're given shared account access and where you go in with their name, so their username, but your own password, okay? So basically what I'm saying is that is classed as multi-accounting too. And there has been occasions 
where people have done this, right? They have been on websites, they've been on the forums, and somebody's posted up their details of how to log into their account. And people have logged in. And as a result, they've lost karma. Um, maybe five karma, had a month's ban. Sometimes people get completely deleted, right? Completely deleted and completely banned for months, okay? And you're never getting any of that back. Now, in situations, right? Now, this is for people who genuinely haven't multi-accounted, right? Um, if you can really genuinely prove that you have not multi-accounted, right? And you've been banned or whatever, you need to go to contact us, right? And you need to send through a ticket. Now, the problem that you have there is whenever you're banned off your account, how do you send a ticket? Well, well the safest way I would say to do it is go on to a different server, okay? Uh, possibly... Or ask maybe if you have contact with a friend outside of it and try and send it that way. Because if you were to make another account on the same server, that actually could still be counted. They'd see that as multi-account. Even though you're only sending, you were creating that account just to make a ticket and sending it in. I know that sounds really silly, but I have heard of it happening. So um, it might actually just be easier to ring them. Uh, possibly, I don't know if they probably have a phone number somewhere or maybe an email, so it might be easier to go in through Safer to do so that way. Um, I'm trying to think else, there's anything else I need to cover, so um, I don't think there is at the moment, I can't really think of anything, but that's basically what multi accounting is when you probably should report it and when it's not so big a deal, but um, because the horse is aware of it. And I have heard some really, really, really silly excuses um, in terms of people, you know, over the years who have said, I'm not multi-accountant because, and they give a really ridiculous reason. Um, I think one of them, I think one of the most ridiculous was something along the lines of, I don't like, ha have, I only like having grey horses on this account and I only like having black horses on this account. And I thought to myself, really? <laughs> Come on. So things like, you... There is no excuse, okay? They will, admin just don't accept excuses like that, right? Whatever excuse you have, they're not gonna take it because they say it is cheating. Um, some other games out there do you like you multi account, um, but horse isn't one of them, okay? Um, I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, I hope you had a lovely day, so bye bye.